Hey there, friends. So my buddy Von Glitschka posted this question onto Twitter. Wants to know if there's a way to copy and paste appearance attributes from one type box to another in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I answered there is a way, but uh, a little bit difficult to describe it in text, and I thought I'd show it to you here. So here I have just a regular document inside of Illustrator, and I have two types of type objects, because I want to show you that there are ways to do this for both point text and also area text, which is text within a frame. And uh, here I have some text that's been styled with uh, additional fills and strokes and also has some effects applied to it, in this case, Offset Path and the Add Pathfinder, which gives this beautiful uh, outline effect around this. So if I go into Outline Mode, you don't see that here, but that's just an effect that I've added, which means that if I go ahead and I add text, it's just going to automatically add that there as well. So I want a quick way to apply this style, the red fill and that black offset outline that's been uh, united together, and I want to quickly apply it to this regular plain text object. So the re quote unquote real way to do this would be to create a graphic style inside of Illustrator because graphic styles basically capture the appearance information from an object and let you easily transfer that to other objects. But it does require you to the first, the first define the style and then to go ahead and put it elsewhere. So uh, the way that I would do that is open up my graphic styles panel, simply um, select that object that has the appearance applied to it. Take the little icon that appears in the Appearance panel and go ahead and just simply drag that here to define that style. So I have Graphic Style 2, give it a name if I want to. But once it's defined, I can just select the other text object and with one click, apply that style to it. So that's one way to do it. I'm going to press Undo. We also know that there's an eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool, by default, does not listen or pay attention to appearances. It only uh, pays attention to basic uh, information. But if I double click on the eyedropper tool and I check the appearance box on both of these settings right here and click OK, then if I go ahead now and I select this text object and I use my eyedropper tool to sample from this one, it will pick up all those settings because I've now instructed the eyedropper tool to pay attention to appearances. But that's not always optimal and the truth is I don't always want to do that. In either, in either of these cases, I'm just going to press undo for a minute here, it's not the quick and dirty way to make this happen. So what I was in Basically, letting Vaughn know is that there's a real quick and easy way to do this. And in order to make this happen, you don't need to have any artwork selected. Let me show you over here. In my Layers panel, I have all these four items in Layer 1 in my document, right? Two text objects here, two text objects here. And we know that to the right of any layer inside of the uh, Layers panel, there's a little circle, which we refer to as the Target Circle. And we also have other objects inside of my document. Just so you know, the way to differentiate objects from layers is that objects have a lighter tint color that appears here, whereas layers have a darker shade. Right? So there's a difference between objects and layers. These are objects within the layer. In your document, you may only see layer one, but you can click on the disclosure triangle to view the other items that are here. Now, if I click on this word, Vonster, which is the styled one, you can see a little box appear here. That box to the far right means that object is currently selected. Many people know that if I want to duplicate an object, I can hold down my Option key, and I could drag that dot elsewhere, let's say to another layer, and it will create a duplicate of that. But not many people realize that the target circle, which controls the appearance of that object or that layer, can also be Option dragged, meaning that I have the ability to just simply copy and paste not the vector paths or the outlines, but to just copy and paste the attributes or the fill and strokes or the effects that have been added. In other words, the appearance. So what I would what I would do here in this case is here are my two objects, which are these two Vonster objects here. This is the one that's styled, and I know that it has an appearance applied to it because the target circle is filled in. I can hold down my Option key, or if you're on Windows, that would be the Alt key. Click on that little target circle. See a little plus sign appear. I'm going to drag it onto this target circle, and you can see now that it basically just copies the appearance from this one to that one. I'm just going to press undo and just show you that again. All I need to do is take the target circle from the one that has the appearance applied to it, hold on my Option key, and drag that target circle to the one where I want to copy that to, and now it takes effect. In this case here where I have text frames, right, area text objects inside of Illustrator, same thing applies. You can see that this text frame has an appearance applied to it. Option dragging it will now basically copy that same appearance to the other text object. And there you go, multiple ways from the more difficult ones to the quick and dirty ones uh, on how to quickly uh, apply and move appearances from one text object to another inside of Illustrator.